there are certain um, uh, documents or files which you want, uh, which you want to share together. First one is um, a document by Opera. Everybody knows Opera. She spoke about finance. And I would like to invite you to watch it with me. Enjoy. It seemed like he was born smiling. Uh, his smile was, it was uh, infectious. He definitely lit up the room. He was definitely the apple of my eye. And even though he didn't excel in academics, and even though he wasn't excelling in sports, he had the greatest gift of all, and it was a great personality. Ryan Halligan's parents say kids started teasing him in fifth grade. When Ryan came to me and said he was being picked on, my initial response was, it's just words. You need to just ignore him. Walk away. When Ryan's self-esteem started to plummet a bit because of these uh, kids picking on him, I did get him counselor. The combination of a therapist and the advice that we were giving him, I, you know, I thought we were going to be okay. The bullying continued on and off for the next couple of years. Then came seventh grade. One night I came home from work. I found my son with his head down on the kitchen table. He lifted his head and he said, I hate this school. I hate this school. I never want to go back there again. Can you homeschool me? Can we move? We wanted to go into the school and talk to the principal, talk to his counselor, do the conflict resolution, but Ryan didn't want any part of that. He said it would just make things worse. Ryan's plan was dad teach me how to defend myself. We did that together. Sure enough, he had a point in time where the kid tried to pick a fight with him, and my son, quite frankly, taught him a lesson. To his parents' surprise, Ryan said he was actually becoming friends with the kid who bullied him, but that friendship was quickly betrayed. We spread a rumor around the school and online that my son was gay, and uh, this went around the school like crazy. It was like a feed in friends, and all of a sudden kids who normally didn't bully Ryan got in on the so-called fun. Ryan started getting vulgar, homophobic emails, but didn't tell his parents. He also began long online chats with a girl he liked. I think he had this plans of trying to get a relationship going with her so that when 8th grade started up again, he could say, she's my girlfriend, and perhaps the gay rumor thing would stop. But when Ryan approached her in person, he discovered it was all a big setup. Well, in front of her friends, uh, she told Ryan, look, you're just a loser. I don't want anything to do with you. I was just joking. And she and her friends started to laugh. Humiliated, Ryan said, it's girls like you that make me want to kill myself. The following month, emotionally battered by bullies and undiagnosed depression, Ryan hung himself in the bathroom of his home. I remember screaming, why? Why? Because I didn't understand it. He just seemed so happy. I was never prepared for that phone call. It was my wife, Kelly, crying hysterically. John, you need to come home. You need to come home. Our son is dead. Brian killed himself. If I had the opportunity to talk to Ryan right now, I would say, Ryan, I love you. I want to make sure you, <laughs> you understand that I love you. We're going to be together again someday. Any comments? Sad. Why is he sad? Because um, he killed himself, so he just he didn't do anything. He just been bullied, so he killed himself. Mm -hmm. Yes, you feel uh, emotional, Farah. What can you say about uh, Ryan killing himself because he has been bullied? Uh, it's very sad because it's um, it's sad to see a boy in such a young age. You, I mean, lose hope and have no friends and have to go to the part when he kills himself and go through depression and his parents in this situation. It's just very of emotional. Of course it is emotional. And how many types um, of bullying has he been going through? Two. Two. Yes. Yeah. What are they? Online bullying. Yes. yes. Online bullying. Yeah. Cyber. Yeah, cyber bullying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Physical of course. What yeah. made things? Mm -hmm. Yes, you want to say something? I think uh, it's uh, a certain mm -hmm. element uh, of uh, the life uh, of uh, this nature, and here we see the uh, the role of uh, the role of uh, <coughs> in uh, the destruction of uh, the life of teenagers. Uh, what made things worse? I said. Yes. Uh, I think that he gave up uh, so early, he took a uh, uh, wrong uh, decision he, uh, and uh, he, uh, he was able uh, to uh, find a solution but uh, uh, anyways he had uh, his family uh, helping him but he uh, gave up and uh, killed himself. Yeah, he killed himself. He said what made things worse, he had a girlfriend, yeah? Yes, yes. yes. the trick uh, that uh, his friend played with, uh, that's uh, a very bad uh, thing. His, girl, his fake girlfriend, he was talking to her online for hours and he thought for a moment he was uh, a normal kid that, uh, that mother started uh, loving him, uh, but that That's was what? wrong. Yes. It was what? He said it was a? Uh, set up. Set up, yes. up. Why? To make things? She called him a loser. Yeah, they called him a loser. loser. Humiliated him. It started feeling better, but uh, then it was not true. What do you think would have gone uh, right? What would he have said, done? Like Adam, you said he should have talked to his parents? Yes. He talked to your parents. Yes. 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 They wanted to be homeschooled, but they, they should have done that too. Homeschooled? Yes. Do you think that would have stopped the cyberbullying? No. Uh, it would be less. I mean, he wouldn't have to face the enemy. Could shut his account, he could start something new. Yeah, that may be a solution, yes. Yeah. Yeah. He could avoid the cyberbullying, but. Yes. Not the real life one. Yeah, if you were in his shoes, if he said, what would you have done? What would you have you done? How can you ignore them? You are alone. Yes, you are alone. You have no friends, you have no one. You, have okay. friends. Yes. you should make. Uh, you say that, but you don't have friends. You should uh, go to, I don't know, clubs to make friends outside mm -hmm. the school. It's not all uh, school, yeah. Maybe it's easily said, but said that the news is spread quickly yes. in yes. the yes. area. They were able to move. Yeah, maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. He ought to uh, tell the uh, teachers and the uh, master to find a solution. Yes. Yeah, we, we didn't speak about the school, that's true. The teachers uh, are not able to do anything. But the main reason that made him uh, kill himself is uh, that uh, the, rela the relationship he made with the girl was quickly betrayed. The teacher uh, has nothing to do with that. But the teacher didn't know. The but teacher can't help. Can. He'd, be ju he'd be just getting more insults and more yeah. I think yeah. so. Do you think the teachers don't help? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. help. Not in this situation. Maybe for moral support or something, but, but you know that you can take action. You know that in America they have a psychological support. A guidance counselor. Yeah, yeah exactly. They try to talk yeah. to, to yeah. him, but he stopped them because the bullies knew he'd just be bullied even more. More. It would be good. Work. Would, yeah. it would be good They will take him after school. Also, he, he just became loser. A, he became friends with uh, with those who were bullying him. Yeah. So he would not care what does the teacher say. And Mm -hmm. yeah. He just wanted to be accepted, so it doesn't yeah. So he was yeah. doing anything just to be accepted, yes. but, but he was not. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But if the news were uh, spread uh, of <coughs> school, uh, teachers um, will know about this. Normally they would know, they would do something. Mm -hmm. But here they think the um, part of the administration and the school is missing. Maybe they could have done something to save his life. Okay.